Hey, I'm Scott Stein. When Apple debuted the iPad 2 about a year and a half ago, the accessory they announced right along with it was the smart cover. This very simple $40 flap with magnets on the end that attached pretty magically to the end of the iPad 2 and became a must-have purchase for a lot of people. It's versatile, but it never protected the back. And they used to make a folio case for the original iPad that did totally ensconce the original iPad device. Now, Apple has released a smart case. And what is it? Well, you'd like to think that it's like a smart cover with a back. And in fact, you could take your smart cover and attach a back to it, a third party one that'll cost you anywhere from 10 to 30 or 40 dollars. Apple makes a case that does seemingly what that advertises, but really it's just a folio case. That's not bad, but it's kind of a throwback case. The uh, cover here, although it looks like the smart cover, doesn't detach. It's all made of polyurethane, and it's very sturdy, has a nice secure feel all around, nice comfortable grip, and a suede-like microfiber interior. And it comes in those six mostly pastel colors that you've come to know out of the polyurethane smart cover. Green, blue, pink, red, also dark gray and light gray. This is the dark gray model. And at $49, it's 10 bucks more than the cost of a smart cover. You just pop it right in here, and you're good to go. Uh, and it's really, I think, best used for regular reading for folio mode. It's a folio case and when you pull it back and use it like this and hold it, it has a nice comfortable feel but it does add some extra bezel to the edges which if you're going to get a little critical in terms of look and feel makes it a little bit different in terms of the way it rests when it's in keyboard mode. And going to that, it rests a little bit differently and if you're used to typing a lot on the virtual keyboard on the iPad that might throw you off. This also stands up in landscape mode just like the smart cover but it rests pretty wobbly in a way that I really couldn't recommend for most people. What would I use this for? I'd use it as a go-to folio case. And if you loved the original iPad case, that black microfiber one that is kind of a dust magnet, well, you're going to love this because it feels around the edges in terms of the way that cover nestles in and, and the, the total package is like the return of that. Unlike the smart cover, there are no magnets here in the hinge, though there are magnets inside the top lid, like is the case with a lot of iPad cases, which wakes it up from sleep when you open it on an iPad 2 or third gen iPad. The polyurethane covers everything on this iPad except for the dock connector, the silent mode switch, and the camera lens on the back. Even the volume buttons are covered up here, which is actually kind of nice because if you're looking for protection, maybe even a little bit of splash resistance, this does feel like a pretty nice overall seal. There are a lot of other solutions out there in iPad cases. At $49, this is really not a bad one at all. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the new smart case for the iPad 2 and third-gen iPad.